What's up YouTube? So in this video we are discussing uh, the trial that many of you have asked us about. What do we think about it? Would we recommend it? Etc. so forth. And it is none other than the very new, very latest in plastering technology, the Carter 101. What is so special about this trowel? Well it is, it's patented stepped technology on the bottom of the trowel. But what you want to know is, is this the best thing since sliced bread or is it a complete bust? Well in this video we are going to discuss what we think of this trowel. So stay tuned, we hope you enjoy what we have to say about this new trowel. So what I will say straight off the bat is that um, we did not pay for this trowel. It was sent to us by the owner, Mike, uh, for review. We've had it for probably a month to two months. We've been testing it out uh, during that time on and off just to see what we think so we can give you an honest opinion, but also give Mike an honest opinion as professional blasters as to what we think of the trowel. Now, what I will say uh, straight away is as far as pros and cons go, the concept behind the trowel does work. Namely, this thought um, with this stepped design uh, being that you can have the trowel much flatter to the wall. The idea is that uh, pretty much each of these ridges uh, sits uh, against the wall as you're spreading the plaster and it almost drags the plaster across the wall um, to help it get it flatter, smoother, quicker, etc. Now what I will say is that flattening the plaster, this step design, it does work. I will say that. That said, are there any cons to this trowel? Well, I'm afraid to say, yes there are. And today, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna discuss some of those cons as to whether it might be a trowel that possibly you might consider giving a miss. So the first thing being, and it is probably the most striking thing, is the price. It's not the first thing that, uh, I'm not the only person to have uh, noticed this. There are two trowels. Uh, the one that uh, was the original is this one here. It is the 16 inch trowel. This trowel goes for £100 in the United Kingdom. Yes, you did hear that right. £100. I don't know what that would be uh, in dollars, maybe something like $130 to $140. It would be quite a lot of money. When you actually think about it for a 16 inch trowel, I can't think of a single trowel that costs this kind of money. Um, if anything, the only thing that really comes to my mind that would be close is a Marshalltown Permaflex or a Curry trowel uh, from America, but even then they still don't come at this price. What's more is that you add in the fact that it is plastic, it is nearly two, three times the price of other plastic trowels in the market. That said, does that mean then that Carter 101 are ripping everybody off? No, not at all. At the end of the day, this is almost what you'd consider an artisan company, namely that they are making these by hand and sending them out to people, which is why there's such a delay sending these trowels out. They are handmade for you in the United Kingdom, not somewhere like China, where obviously it's a lot cheaper to make things. These aren't mass produced. So that's where the price is. It isn't that the company are trying to rip everybody off and make uh, massive uh, profit margins. It's just the fact it's not mass produced. So obviously it's a big thing. The price is not fantastic. What's the next uh, downside with regards to the trail? Well, the fact that it's plastic. Now, don't get me wrong, um, anyone that watches our channel know that we do like using plastic trowels. We use them for the final pass um, on, our, on our set. It gives a beautiful finish. That said, this trowel is being designed to be used all the way through the process. What's the problem with that? Well, uh, this is actually the second one of, that we've um, had sent. Sadly, the first one came damaged. Um, but when we, we thought we'd just try it out, even though it was damaged, and we tried to do a reskim on blue grit. And unsurprisingly, the blue grit scratched the blade to such a degree that you wouldn't be able to use it without uh, sanding it back down again. Well, unfortunately, for those that do reskims, that would make this trowel essentially 
are useless because of the damage the blue grit does to a plastic trowel. The other negative, again, when it comes to plastic trowels and you're using them all the time, is that they wear down very quickly. So we've used the Rafina uh, plastic trowels and also um, the Nella ones, they tend to be the two that we use the most. The Rafina ones uh, that have a midget trowel and, and then a plastic blade insert, we snap those relatively regularly, regularly because what happens is along this section here it thins out to such a degree that it just it wears out and breaks. And if it doesn't break, what happens is that the middle of the trowel it hollows out and we're talking hollowing out by a lot a good five or six millimeters within six months so invariably the blades if they're used a lot they need to be replaced every six months to a year that's not using them for every stage of a plastering set so you can you imagine then using this trowel for everything how long it would last if me and louis were using this every day for every set all the way from putting the first coat on to the final dry pass i imagine that the blade would be worn out within probably a month to two months and herein lies the issue if you have a look here this top section here that is the only a bit of working plastic that you have it, after that point it's hitting the the spine of the trowel, the back support it's it's hardly anything it's about five maybe six millimeters of, of working plastic on the trowel when you look at a lot of uh, other trowels if i was to go and get uh, my plastic nella so with our plastic nella you can see the difference here this is the working area it's it's probably about 25 millimeters an inch some four or five times wider than what the carter 101 is so when you take that into consideration likely these trowels will wear out very fast now the downside and again unfortunately it is another negative these aren't replaceable blades most plastic trowels are replaceable blades why because they get damaged they get nicked they wear out really fast so they have replaceable blades so you can switch them out it's an inexpensive way of switching the trowel out this is a fixed blade at this time as such you're looking at spending a hundred pound on a trowel every say two to six months depending on how much you're using it that to me doesn't make an awful lot of sense in my opinion so as such a large part of the problem with this trowel is the fact it's plastic that said the the concept behind this is that you can get a really nice finish fairly early on when it's wet that's because of the plastic because the plastic isn't pulling the moisture up we know that uh, anthony parry he um he feels he's finding great success with this trowel speeding up the sets etc so forth that will happen when you use a plastic trowel because it isn't pulling the moisture out of the wall but the reality is that you could do the same thing with that Nella trowel which I think I paid £35 for unfortunately it isn't the ribbed design that's doing that it's just the fact that the material of the trowel is plastic does that mean that it is all bad? not at all um, as we've mentioned already, if you don't apply the plaster with this trowel, so you use your normal laying on trowel, but then you choose to flatten this, flatten the plastering with this trowel, it works extremely well, especially when it's on really thick. So for instance, you've gone over Artex, or perhaps the plaster is pulled in a little bit faster, uh, quicker than you'd expect. This flattens it extremely quickly. As, as we mentioned at the start of the video, the concept behind the design really works. What's more as well is that it forces uh, you to basically use the trowel at the angle that it's supposed to be used at. Now for professional plasters, this is not an issue. We know how to apply plaster quickly and efficiently. It's not a big deal. But if you have no idea how to plaster, you can get a relatively flat finish straight away using this trowel with no experience whatsoever. 
So that is a massive pro for those that aren't professional plasterers, or perhaps they want some plastering work done in their house but they can't afford it. You've got the option of buying this trowel and, and having a crack at it yourself. That said, in our opinion, what do we think of the trowel? Do we think it's a dead duck? Do we think it's a waste of time? No, no we don't. Um, in our opinion, do we think that the price isn't competitive? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, no one else makes a trowel like this. But although it's very effective at flattening, so are the spats that we use, and they're 35, 40 quid. Why would I spend over double on a trowel when it's gonna take it a bit longer anyway? Do we think that possibly this could be something really good? Yeah. Now, whether Mike and Carter101 watch this video, I don't know, but certainly what seems to make more sense, certainly us as YouTubers and, and professional plasterers, is to have this blade replaceable. What's more is see, I don't know the legalities of it, but see if the blade attachment can possibly be linked in with either the Rafina handle or the Nella or the Ox replaceable handle. That way Carter 101 don't have to make a new handle and they can just make the plastic blades. That way they can drop the price and then you at home can switch out the blade for this for flattening and then uh, at, a, at a lower price rather than paying for the whole set up as it were. Um, the only other uh, downside I think, and, and again it's not meaning to sound like I'm slating uh, Carter 101, I'm really not, but they asked for an honest review, is the fit and the finish of the trowel itself isn't commensurate with the price tag. What do we mean? Well, put it this way, you can tell that it's been made one at a time by hand, you, you can tell. Um, little things like the branding, um, the Carter 101 with the number on it, um, that looks like it was stenciled on with a Sharpie, I don't know if it was, but that's what it looks like. Um, it looks like a generic handle, uh, which is a little bit of a shame, um, and the packaging that it comes in, unfortunately, there's no branding on it, it is a little bit like it was packed at home and shipped, uh, via Royal Mail, which is a shame. These are minor things, but when it's a hundred pounds, you wouldn't expect that from, from Nella, you wouldn't expect it from Rafina, for Ox or Marshalltown. There is a certain standard, a certain fit and finish that you do expect from high-end trowels. So in my opinion, a hundred pound trowel is one of the most expensive trowels on the market, it would be nice if the overall finish, it felt special in your hands. It feels a little bit more like a prototype and perhaps as time goes on and, and perhaps as more sales increase, there'll be more funding uh, to, to, to possibly really tweak the finer details of the trowel. Um, but certainly for us, we don't feel it's quite there yet. The idea is 100% there, the concept for flattening plaster, but do I think it's gonna reinvent plastering? No. If speeding up the set, uh, the set dramatically is something you're interested in, then possibly use half-time uh, admixture, or uh, once you've done a lot of the plastering stages, start wet troweling with a plastic trowel, it would be much cheaper. But in my professional opinion, what would be in my, in my mind, good business sense is to change this to a replaceable blade and try and inculcate uh, the design that Ox or Nella have. So you haven't got to worry about that cost and you can sell the blades individually. But that's for Carter 101 to decide. That's our honest opinion. Um, truth be told, um, would we buy this if we didn't have it? Probably not. Now, unfortunately, the other thing as well is it is a 16-inch trowel. We prefer the 14. It is a very heavy trowel. Uh, it does take a little bit of work to get used to. Um, and the reality is you do have to change the way you plaster to get this to work. The reality is as a professional plasterer that's been plastering for a long time, I shouldn't have to change the way I plaster just to use a trowel. So, would I personally buy this? 
unfortunately not. That said, if it was a replaceable blade, <coughs> if it was a replaceable blade that fitted in with perhaps my Nella, would I buy the blade in its own? I'd certainly consider it. Anyway, these are our thoughts. We hope it was, uh, we, you found the information helpful in possibly deciding whether or not you should uh, buy the trowel. We will be use, uh, doing a few videos on how to use the trowel uh, in the coming few weeks just to get the most out of it. But for the time being, that's our opinion of the Carto 101. We hope uh, this has been helpful. Hopefully it's not been too much of a smear campaign for Carter 101. Uh, Mike is he's a lovely chap, he's clearly working very, very hard and this is clearly a very new, very special project to, uh, to Mike. And we do hope that possibly with just fine tuning some of these minor things that we've mentioned, he could churn out a truly fantastic product. We hope this has been helpful in deciding whether you should buy the Carter 101. Maybe consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks again.